If becoming the GOAT after being picked in the sixth round isn't proof enough that you could be a problem no matter where you're drafted, then I don't know what is. Today, we assemble a team of sixth round picks. We've done this for second rounders who won the Super Bowl. The third round team lost in the divisional round. Fourth round team lost in the Super Bowl by only three. And last week, the fifth rounders didn't even make the playoffs. So if the sixth rounders are gonna defy all odds and win the Lombardi, well, they have just the right guy to do it. This week, me and Bounty Sports are combined to do a $50 giveaway. The rules to enter the giveaway are simple. You use my promo code CKBIRDS and then you predict down below in the comments the two teams that will end up in the Super Bowl. And I'll give away $50 to a random person that gets it right. Now I don't know if you can DM people on YouTube so you gotta go ahead follow me on Twitter and then if you get it right I'll DM you and I'll pay you out the money. So once you click the link in the description it'll take you to this page. You go ahead and fill in the information. You don't have to put any of your card information. No payment information nothing. All you have to do is click Click the link and you use referral code CKBIRDS at the bottom for a free $5 credit to play any contest on the site. But you have to make sure you're using that referral code CKBIRDS or else you don't get the free $5. One last week of pick'ems, man. Multi-sport. $1,000 in prizes. Already 98 entries, so you guys got to get in on it quickly. I went 3 for 3 in hockey last week, so once again, we're just going to go into this blind because I do not know enough about it. Now, I do know about football. We got Joe Burr in the Bengals versus Patty Mahomes and the Chiefs man this one is tough I could see the Bengals winning they're that dynamic but I think what we saw last week was pretty much the Super Bowl man the Chiefs and, and the Bills so I gotta go with Kansas City it's gonna be very close though once again people are sleeping on the Niners I think Debo might be the best player not named Mahomes left in the playoffs and if he's not number two then he's number three behind Aaron Donald so this is gonna be a great game I, I don't know man my mind is telling me Rams my heart is telling me Niners I'm going with my heart this time you already know I gotta go with my Sixers man the Kings have been struggling lately I don't know if Kyrie's gonna play if he does I could see it being close but I got the Warriors and they're my picks man you guys can feel free to copy or fade if you feel like so I gotta do a sign up for Bounty Sports today Use the link in the description and the code CKBIRDS to receive a free $5 credit. No deposit or payment info necessary. So what are you waiting for, man? Check out Bonnie Sports because winning just got easier. I've been waiting to do this one. A lot of you guys have been waiting to see this one. We have the GOAT. Tyrod Taylor has made a pretty good career out of being a sixth round pick. He's going to be the backup. Thank God for Elijah Mitchell. He's been running rampant on defenses during the playoffs for the 49ers, man. Going to be a solid running back number one. And we have some really nice backups. Latavius Murray, who a lot of people say I look like, is actually going to be starting for us at fullback. Boston's going to be the actual backup running back. We don't have an 80 plus overall wide receiver, but we do have some speed. Scotty Miller, 94 speed. Quite. 97 people's jones russell gage i mean all of these guys are 25 or younger and in franchise that is huge to be very young you know you develop a little faster so our wide receiver core might be a little underrated someone who's properly rated is darren waller one of the best tight ends in the league 91 overall x factor probably going to be tom brady's favorite target in this experiment ryan griffin 69 overall backup somehow the sixth round produced two superstar offensive linemen jason kelsky and ryan jensen Alongside them, we have three guys in the 70s. So I'd say this is an above average O-line. Brings us to an 83 overall offense, which is six overalls better than the defense. Brady's going to have to carry. We moved Danny Trevathan to left end because we didn't have any. At right end, we have Sebastian Joseph Day to D-tackle. Fuller run so far, Kasi. And DJ Jones are two D-tackles. Hamza Nazirldin. I think I said that right, man. These are some crazy names on this team. You got to love it. Camus Grugier Hill at right out. For you say the little coon and david long jr at mob we moved jason mccordy from free safety back to his old position cb behind him we have anthony brown rashad fenton isaiah rogers flesh one austin and maurice kennedy now we have some really solid safeties man quandre diggs deshaun elliott chuck clark donovan wilson all could be starting so aside from a few positions i, I think the defense is a little bit better than we think it might be we might struggle to get to the quarterback we don't really have any pass rushers and a run defense might also struggle, but we just need them to be average. We are struggling halfway through the season.
season. Only four and four. Second in the division. Panthers are running away with it. We need this win against the football team. This is actually a team the Bucks struggled with during their Super Bowl run. I, I think it was a very close game. Oh yeah, there we go. Way to get there. Oh, big hit. Where's my fumble? Heineke was the quarterback in that game against Brady. Bucks only won by one possession. So it was a lot closer than you might think. Good defense. So I say that to say we will not be taking them lightly, especially not that D line. Two guys with abilities is just insane we got a double team jonathan allen every play or at least every play where we run the ball man elijah with the cut back not getting much their d-line is scary you literally got chase young on one side along with jonathan allen and they got montez sweat who i think is the fastest lineman in the game yeah it's not easy but we have the goat throwing the ball scotty miller with that speed getting the first we cannot abandon the run that's the last thing we could do especially with those two superstar o linemen that we have we got to keep pounding the rock elijah with his biggest run of the game got to get waller going second and ten. Oh, he's not open he's gonna have to throw it oh there's a that's a late hit that better be rough in the passer man I, I we got hit you know you can't hit brady come on now that's a flag all day every day man you love to see how realistic the game is oh, i forgot to double team that man and he made me pay it's kind of sad that the clip where allen and his team teammate we're hitting each other on the sideline is going to overshadow just how amazing he has been but yeah he's, he's really good he's really freaking good oh god nobody's open that's cap somebody was but we missed him come on brady maybe i should stop beating around the bush and just go to our best playmaker and that's darren waller third and goal he's not open that's like triple team there's nobody open he's gonna throw it away and take the three we can force back to back three and outs right here right now and it's third and two spotlight and scary terry Watch in the middle of the field. He's going to take off a little coon with a big hit. Where is my fumble? The game is cheating, bro. That's back-to-back -back scrambles by Heineke. I know he's a very athletic individual, but still, we need these fumbles, man. We're hitting these dudes recklessly. There we go. That's the sack I wanted. They gave Fadakasi a, a half sack for that, but no one else even touched the quarterback. I was right there, but I didn't touch him, so they, they hold him low-key. Second and 13. Another handoff. Great tack on the open field, Diggs. Has there been a guy with the last name Diggs that was not at least pretty good? I don't know, man. That, that last name definitely holds some merit when it comes to football. Great open field tackle, but somehow he gets the first. <laughs> Oh, catch that. Let's go. Chuck Clark with the interception. Defense forcing turnovers. To not get any points off of that would be a travesty. We have to make sure we at least get in field goal range, man. Here we go on a second and 10. Elijah right up the gut, getting us a solid game. Can we talk about the running back development on the Niners? It seems like every few games they have someone else they could just plug in. Jeff Wilson, Raheem Mostert. Elijah Mitchell is just unbelievable how good they've been and we're gonna get the first down Russell Gage another guy that was forced to step up because of some absences man he definitely had himself a really good season first down and 10 double team again we're going back to Elijah Brady does best when he can just sit back off the play action and, and dot up the defense so that's what we're gonna do second and two we've been running the ball really well Waller's gonna get his first catch and the first down going to the five wide Waller's going deep but we have X wide open. That's a laser. 69 overall. Ryan Griffin with the tutty. Oh, another interception. Fenton this time. Defense came to play. There's a flag on third down. Let's see what it is. It looks like holding. They're going to decline it. And we're going to have to take the three. They have zero points on the board. Let's see if we can keep it that way. DJ Jones getting to the quarterback. I think they heard me say we don't have a pass rush. And they were like, all right, bet. Watch this. I mean, damn. The way they are playing right now is unbelievable. McCordy gets the interception this time. Three turnovers in the first half. Oh, Brady putting it on the money, Waller. Getting us in field goal range. Play action. Oh, Waller's in man coverage. Have they not learned their lesson? Pass could have been a little bit better. So once again, we're in the third and long situation. Gotta get this first down somehow. Square wide open. That's a laser, Russell Gage. Keeps the chains moving. Another big play, third and 16. We get this. It's pretty much GG's. Oh, what a route right there, Waller. Getting us in the field goal range at the very least. And now it looks like we might end up holding them. Well, I would say the three, but it's probably four down territory. McCordy gets mossed. Hold the hell on, man. They still need to get this two point conversion though. If they don't get it, then it's pretty much a wrap. Let's see what happens. We're watching this, man. He's gonna scramble, no way. 
There's no way we let him scramble. Good defense, baby. We recover the onside kick and we walk out of here. One game above 500. There it is, Watkins. First time touching the ball all game. They end up getting the five seed going 10 and seven. Brady in the postseason, they have a chance. Here's a broader look at the schedule, man. Start off with a lot of L's, but then they turn things around. I'd like to think I helped them a little bit in week 10. Took some bad losses after that, but won enough games to make it. Offense finished 16th in the league. Defense was 21st, bottom half. Run game didn't do so hot. 700 yards by our leading rusher, Elijah Mitchell. But Brady threw for 5,000, 37 touchdowns, a lot of interceptions, but that's what happens when you throw the ball that many times. 3,000 yard receivers, Quez, Gage, and Waller. Miller had 896, so almost four people had 900 plus. Talk about spreading the ball around. Boya say led everyone in tackles. We had four guys with double digit tackles for a loss. Trevathan led us in sacks with 10, showing his versatility, Kamut and Fadakasi right behind him. And then Anthony Brown and Clark both had four interceptions. McCourty had three. No top 10 MVP finish for Tom Brady. He must have threw just a little too many interceptions. Elijah gets second for Offensive Rookie of the Year. Hamza gets ninth for Defensive Rookie of the Year. Brady's number eight for best QB in the NFC. Quez is number 10 for best wide receiver. And look at Camus. 10th best linebacker in the NFC. Anthony Brown and Chuck Clark both in the top five for best DBs. Oh my goodness. Look at this matchup. Brady versus Rodgers. This should be a good one. This is a tough way to lose, man. But what are the chances you play the Packers? A team that got the one seed in real life. In the wild card round, like that's just not even fair. This team could have went further, in my opinion, if they faced any other opponent, but that's how this experiment ends. But still, credit to Brady for even getting them to the playoffs with a lackluster roster. He didn't have a great game. He had a horrendous game, four interceptions, but he did a lot with a little during the season, man. There it is, the sixth round picks made it to the playoffs. They did better than the fifth round picks. Next up is the seventh rounders. Destroy the like button. The more likes I see, the faster. I will upload the next one, man. We're creeping up to the tournament where I'm hoping there's gonna be some upsets. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys on the next one. Nobody safe. Came from heaven, we fresh out the gate. And I look like I came from LA. From New Jersey, I look like LA. I'm a water, I'm from in LA. I'ma get it, it's my for the tape. Ride the beamer when I'm out of state Could it be almost got me a case Go Olympic, I'm winning the race Now I won cause I'm killing the game Talking crazy, I'm going insane Shifting gears and I'm switching the lane How about stations just going to tame Going up so I'm making a name